Hello everybody, welcome back. I wanna talk about one thing today. This isn't so much about small businesses, but this is more about bad employers. So this is more for the employee. <laughs> bad employers are everywhere, and it's small business, medium business, and large business. Now, employees, you don't have to take it. If you're working for a business, that say, I don't know, forces you to work 60, 70 hours a week with no extra pay, no bonus, no comp time, anything like that, you don't have to take that. You know, we are in a crazy time where there are jobs just sitting vacant and you can use that to your advantage. The You are holding all the cards. Now, here's the deal. A lot of people are jumping ship for jobs that are higher in pay. Well, your financial gain, your monetary value isn't always worth it. And what I mean by that is we have what are called benefits, right? And those benefits range from medical to um, time off to you know personal phone. You don't have to use it. You get a business phone to a personal vehicle or business vehicle, company vehicle. And those are things you have to look at. Because at the end of the day, sure, you might not have a lot going on in your job, you might be bored, but think about it this way. You leave that company, you go to a new one, you might be overworked. So the grass isn't always greener, that's kind of what I'm getting at here. Um, you know, I've been in some places where Things were, were quite bad and there was a lot of confrontation and a lot of conflict, especially dealing with, you know, disrespectful customers who, you know, would talk badly about the company as a whole, uh, talk badly to your customers or uh, not to your customers, talk badly about your teammates, talk badly about you to your face and in emails and, and just call you all kinds of nasty things. Um, and, you know, at the end of the day, like, I was like, I, I can't do this. Like, this is this is bad. But then I thought, hmm, yes, it sucks. I have to go back once. Um, I actually got fired from visiting that customer because I did not put up with their bullshit. Um, and that's something, too, that as an employee, don't, don't, you don't, and as a business owner, right, you don't need that customer. If that customer is going to act that way towards you, your team, or talk badly about your company, you don't need them, report them, right? Go to your boss, go to your supervisor. If your boss or supervisor doesn't wanna do anything, you go up. Sometimes though, businesses will neglect uh, action for the sake of profits. Um, and so you as an employee have to kind of balance that and you know, kind of look at the culture. Cause sometimes if you keep your eyes and ears open, you can learn to do things like get fired from visiting a customer without getting fired from your actual job. And I think that's incredibly important to understand too. And you can also tell your, your uh, boss and your supervisor, hey, I do not feel comfortable going to this customer. I do not feel comfortable working with this person because of ABC, XYZ. And as long as you document it, you're in the right. If you get fired for it, go find another job. Go take your skills elsewhere. You know, they obviously don't, value you and at the end of the day your value your self-worth is everything your mental health is everything i know i know i know some of the old fuddy duddies are saying this mental health crap is bull well it's not really right it's not i mean we you know talk about the 90s and going postal right now we can kind of say it and kind of talk about it but if you are working 60, 70, 80 hours a week, or if you're working with disrespectful customers that just make you absolutely hate your job, no, leave, <laughs> leave. There's always bad things about employers, always. It doesn't matter who you are, you have to understand that even some of the best companies out there have some pretty crappy things going on. Um, so that's something, again, balance, right? So yeah, my previous place, I had I wasn't paid market value, whatever. I had health insurance, it wasn't the greatest, um, but it was somewhat affordable. Um, I had a company phone <laughs> and I had a company car. I got to work from home, I got to keep the car at home. Um, so, you know, at the end of the day, like it was, yeah, there are a lot of shitty things about that job, but there are a lot of great things too. 
Yeah, I had to drive three hours every Tuesday, um, which sucked, but I also got a free meal out of it too. And I got to see people and, and that, you know, to me was incredibly important. Um, you know, I, I disliked driving that three hours. I disliked leaving early, still, you know, leaving at seven and still being on the clock at five. Like I just didn't like it, but it's a give and take, give and take. So I'm going to leave you with that. This is a video again, more for the employees. You don't have to put up with it at all. If you're, you're working for a, and I mean really bad really bad business you do not have to take it it's just simple as that you can move on nobody will blame you and when you're sitting down in your interview and they ask you why you left you can just differences of opinion um, you know and you can be honest with them without being vulgar um, so and you know as an employer don't you don't need those disrespectful customers you don't if you have an employee that is dealing with them you need to go out of your way to make sure they're comfortable. Um, so, guys, I'm going to leave you with that today. Uh, if there's anything else you guys want me to talk about or, or you know, anything like that um, that I'm not touching on, let me know. Um, give us a, a thumbs up. Give us a subscribe. Click that bell, too, so you know when um, a new video drops because they're pretty inconsistent. Uh, but I, I try to get as much as possible. Uh, but, guys, thank you so much for watching, uh, and we'll see you in the next video.